Welcome to my magic. I have a message just for you. Just for you. They call me the Long Island Grande. My name is Gianna Romani and I'm an astrologer and I'm sensitive to the dead. I have a very special message. It just dropped in. I needed to let you know before it's too late and I get the next message. All right, this message is for Libras. You're a notorious air sign. You're balanced, you're symmetrical, you're very level-headed. Um, I got a sister, she's a Libra, and she's a little bit, you know, Libras are intellectual and sometimes a bit uppity. Uh, you know, she lives in Montauk, whatever. This message is not for her. This message is just for you. Here's what I got for you. I got like a flash, like a light bulb. Um, you know, like the little light bulb, the little Edison. <clears throat> it was almost too, like it came in like a flicker. Like it could be like a little flame also. So Libra, is that you listening? Uh, could be a bright idea. Also, in conjunction with this, was like a notebook, like writing, like a scribe, like journaling. And um, what this tells me, this informs me that there's a bright idea uh, just around the corner coming down the pike. Uh, you, you might have to send a letter. You might have this wonderful, um, wonderful invention like it's like an Einstein thing like writing in your journal uh, maybe you should be working for like Tesla NASA something like that you know biggie biggie big time grande 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 or 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 maybe you need to go over some of the the manuals for um, the electrical or any lamps in your house and make sure everything's copacetic and um, arranged uh, according to the power grid. As I have mentioned, my hotline didn't exactly take off. It um, went a little haywire and got defunct. However, we will do a proper relaunch and I will keep you posted. I want you to keep your calendars open for that hot little nug coming your way. In the interim, I have devised an alternative and that is right into my WhatsApp and for a small fee, um, maybe not so small, but for a fee and what I would consider a very um, reasonable fee, I will respond. I had a viewer write in by the name of Brenda. Um, she writes, my partner Brandy and I, Brandy with an I, lost our Australian shepherd named Shep six months ago. Can you tell me if he is in doggy heaven? This is Brenda right up here. This is Shep and this is Brandy. For your reference. It's very crucial that you send in like um, some sort of token, some amulet, some memorabilia about said person, pet, situation that you need resolution for. So, Brenda and Brandy sent me in Shep's little favorite toy, all right? Um, yeah, it, it smells It smells bad. Uh, they could have washed it before they sent it because I, you know, I'm, I'm not a bloodhound. I don't need, I don't need to follow the scent. Everything is, is in the ether that I tap into anyway, neither here nor there. Well, first of all, let me say, first of all, let me say that dogs do very well in the afterworld, uh, traditionally, because because they're very selfless creatures. So, if you have an animal and you're worried or you're wondering, just know that they're probably better off, actually, I mean. I'm, anyway, I'm happy to report I connected with Shep, who is already reincarnated into a schnauzer living upstate in Vermont. Oh. Oh, that's all we have time for. I'd love to hear from you on WhatsApp. I'm the Long Island Grande.